What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be going over 5 things you didn't know about Super Mutants from Fallout. Number 5. Super Mutants are mutated humans, products of infection by the forced evolutionary virus called FEV. They are much taller, bulkier, and muscular than pure strain humans and have mostly green, gray, or yellowish skin, and are immune to disease and radiation and are gifted with superhuman strength and endurance. Although they are completely sterile, the rapid regeneration of their cells caused by FEV makes them virtually biologically immortal, but they are not immune to death from injury. Number 4. Speaking of FEV, FEV was part of the evolutionary experimentation program that took place inside Vault 87. The modified strain of FEV found in Vault 87 is the source behind super mutant behemoths. Since super mutants are, for all intents and purposes, immortal, they continue to grow bigger and bigger as they age, suggesting that super mutant behemoths are the oldest of the super mutants. Number 3. Throughout the many Fallout games, there are 15 different types of super mutants that you could encounter. This list excludes the unique NPCs like Tabitha from Fallout New Vegas or Virgil from Fallout 4. The 15 types of super mutants are Super Mutant, Super Mutant Skirmisher, Super Mutant Brute, Super Mutant Enforcer, Super Mutant Butcher, Super Mutant Master, Super Mutant Overlord, Super Mutant Primus, Super Mutant Warlord, Super Mutant Suicider, Super Mutant Behemoth, Lowen Behemoth, Epic Behemoth, Ancient Behemoth, and Mariposa Super Mutant. Number 2. A miscellaneous quest in Fallout 4 proves that it is possible to reverse the effects of FEV and become human once again once you become a super mutant. Brian Virgil was an institute scientist who worked on FEV. After feeling guilty about injecting so many people with FEV, he injected himself with a unique strain of FEV and defected to a cave in the glowing sea. The Soul Survivor will eventually meet Virgil, who will tell the Soul Survivor about an experimental serum found inside the Institute. If the Soul Survivor retrieves the serum for Virgil, he can become human once again. Number 1. Super Mutants come from three different locations. On the west coast, they come from the Mariposa military base in New California. The super mutants on the west coast, generally speaking, are those that were created by the master. On the east coast, the super mutants come from Vault 87, an FEV testing facility located in the Capital Wasteland. The super mutants there were the result of a Vault Tech experiment within Vault 87. Some of its inhabitants were turned into super mutants, who then turned the remaining inhabitants into more super mutants. They eventually left the vault and started taking outsiders back into the vault to be mutated. The third type of super mutant are the result of experiments in the Institute in Fallout 4. The Institute would abduct people from the Commonwealth and inject them with their own form of FEV, then after they got the data they wanted from the mutants, they'd release them back into the Commonwealth. Alright, that's going to do it for this top 5 video about super mutants from Fallout. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or game character. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.